makes Fifi Dapper stand out is that we don't take ourselves too seriously. Um, and the other thing is that we are very disrespectful to traditions. We are exploratory. We base our drinks, or we do on traditions, but we're not like, hey, you must stir this this particular way. Because at the end of the day, if you're taking six minutes to make a f***ing old-fashioned, you have a table of six who ordered an old-fashioned, and if the last guy gets his drink 30 minutes later, it is weird, to say the least, you know? I'm uh, Abhishek Cherry and George. I own and manage this Fifi Dapper in uh, Bulky, uh, little cocktail bar hidden away. To be honest with you, we don't give a flying fuck about classic recipes. But we are really focused on number one, the philosophy, number two, balance, number three, dilution. Right? Oh, sorry, that's flavor profile as well. So I guess philosophy is a bit off. So yeah, balance, dilution, flavor profile. When I create stuff, uh, there is two aspects to it. One is the taste and the other one is the name and the description, so as you say. And a lot of the times the name, the description and, and how it's presented has a lot more to do with invention than the actual drink itself. So every drink is different and most of the time you work from both ends. You find inspiration from somewhere, you kind of figure out how to make that inspiration into a name, kind of an interesting uh, pitch, so as to say. And then you, based on that uh, inspiration, you work on trying to get a flavor. In 07, when I, when I first made martinis for 20 bucks, I was like, what, you know? But now you're paying $30 above for a drink and people don't blink an eye. But to me, it's great that, you know, the scene has come around. People are ordering old fashions, people are ordering classics. People are exploring flavors. And people are not just chucking tequila. Not everybody, at least. So here we're gonna to touch on a drink that is easy for everybody to make. It is the daiquiri. The daiquiri is also known as the rum sour. The, the philosophy of a sour, or the ratio of a sour, goes like this. You have 45 mils of base spirit, 25 mils of citrus, ideally freshly squeezed lemon juice, and 20 mils of one is to one sugar syrup. So this is the best way of starting in the making cocktails. See, so you can, instead of rum, you can use tequila, you can use any spirit in the same ratio, 45, 25, 20, to make a drink that is really good, that you will enjoy drinking. So here we go, rum. This is an Angostura Reserva rum, it's a white rum. Uh, you can use Bacardi, you can use any rum you can find, you can use vodka as well, in any spirit, basically, you can use it. This is freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then this is one is to one sugar syrup, so equal parts of sugar and water. And it goes. And then you can do two things. If you don't have a shaker at home, you could just uh, get a bar spoon, like so and just stir it up to basically dilute a little bit. But since I do have a shaker, I'm basically gonna give it a nice shake. So that's that. So I'm gonna strain it, this is a uh, fine strainer. I'm using it because I don't want the ice particles to go into the drink. Right there. So effectively, you have the drink already. Now it's up to you to make it interesting. So here I'm using lemon juice and I want uh, an interesting nose to this drink. So I'm gonna go just get some uh, lemon zest, basically. Take a lemon and just cut off a little bit of the skin. Hold it like that, squeeze it. You won't see it, but the oils are actually going into it. So if you actually smell the drink, you'll have a nice lemon head on.